along all. I'm joined here today, the mayor of Milwaukee, <laughs> governor, lieutenant governor, and leadership from local, county, and federal law enforcement agencies, along with the district attorney and U.S. attorney. Please keep in mind that this is an active and fluid scene, and the investigation is also ongoing and active. There is no threat at this time, and we will continue to investigate throughout the night. At approximately 2.08 p.m. on today's date, the Milwaukee Police Department responded to a call of a shooting at the 4100 block of West State Street. This is known as the Molson Coors Revish Company and for most Milwaukee residents, the Old Miller Brewery. Officers located the suspect, a 51-year-old Milwaukee man, deceased from an apparent self-inflicted gunshot wound. At this time, we have located five additional deceased adult victims. The victims all worked at Molson Coors, and no members of the general public were involved. The victims' identities will not be released to the public until proper notifications have been made. No other individuals were injured at this time. Further information will be provided by the leadership of Miller Coors executive team when they arrive as they were all out of state and currently en route, which we're hoping to give you an update after nine o'clock tonight. It's a terrible day for Milwaukeeans, and I pass on my condolences to the families of the employees of, Mil of, the employees of Miller and to the employees of Miller or Molson Coors. Again, I'd like to thank the Milwaukee Police Department sworn who responded quickly to attend the FBI, the ATF, Department of Criminal Investigations, Milwaukee County Sheriff's Office, the Marquette Police Department, and the Milwaukee Fire Department for their assistance. As I stated, we'll provide additional information. Please understand that Molson Coors is a large company with over a thousand employees that were working when this occurred. We have several people we need to talk to and we have to go through a roll call and identify who, who's missing, which is why we can't give you all this information uh, as, currently. We'll have additional information and let you know when this be scene becomes safe. I'm now gonna pass the mic on to the mayor and we'll have other leaders from our team here speak. Your mayor. Can you identify yourself, sir? Chief Alfonso Morales of the Milwaukee Police Department. Good evening, I'm Milwaukee Mayor Tom Barrett. This is a tragic day for our city. This is a tragic day for our state. Five families, six families actually, are grieving and will be grieving because of this horrific act of this individual. This is a time for us to think about those families because there were five individuals who went to work today, just like everybody goes to work. And they thought they were gonna to go to work, finish their day and return to their families. They didn't and tragically they never will. I wanna thank the Milwaukee Police Department. I wanna thank the Milwaukee Fire Department. I wanna thank the Sheriff's Department, the FBI. I wanna thank the District Attorney for responding when they were needed most. This is an unspeakable tragedy for our city. This is a community tragedy. And as we grieve for these families, we must remember the sacrifices that they made. We will have more information as the families are notified. We'll have more information as more employees are notified as to who the deceased are. But please keep in your prayers these individuals who lost their lives. What's their name is? My name is Mayor Tom Barrett. 
This is Lieutenant Governor Mandela Barnes. Hey, Lieutenant Governor Mandela Barnes, and we're here on the scene of uh, another American tragedy, another senseless American tragedy, one that shouldn't have to happen. Unfortunately, it's in our backyard. And I hate to say that it's in our backyard once again. This is the 11th mass shooting in our state since 2004. And I especially want to thank the first responders who so bravely are still responding to the situation. I want to offer my condolences to the families, the friends, the co-workers of everybody involved, but I also want to issue a call, a challenge, because we shouldn't accept this. This is not the way that things should be. And we should never grow comfortable in the face of these repeated tragedies all across America, and especially right here at home. We have a duty to act. We have to be more responsible uh, as a city, as a state, as a nation and stop these preventable tragedies from happening. It doesn't happen anywhere else but here. And you know, I know a whole lot of people uh, who I've socialized with a lot of folks who work in those halls. I've, I've spent time with them uh, on my personal time and during campaigns, I've made a lot of good friends and I'm actually afraid to see who whose lives were, actually, whose lives were lost in this tragedy. Um, and this is something, as the mayor said, there were five people who went to work and thought they would come home. And, you think about the families of those individuals, people who just want to earn an honest living and unfortunately will not be making it back home tonight. This is something that should rest heavily on all of our hearts, all of our minds moving forward. And again, I can't repeat enough the fact that this is something that we should never come to accept as a society. Um, but I thank you all for being here. And my heart goes out to everybody impacted by this. And now our governor, Tony Evers. Thanks, Mandela. I think at this time, I know it's really cold out, but just a short moment of silence. The hearts of the people of Wisconsin go out to the folks that were needlessly murdered at Molson Coors this afternoon. The uh, First Lady and I will be praying tonight together for the lives that have been lost. It is a tragedy for Milwaukee, yes, but it is a tragedy for the entire state of Wisconsin. Wisconsin is a strong state. What happens in Milwaukee happens, uh, it impacts people all across the state from Cornucopia to Kenosha. And so my, my role here tonight is to bring as many prayers as I can carry and hearts for the of the people of Wisconsin to the losses that have occurred. Thank you. Thank you. As I stated, at approximately 9 o'clock, we'll see if we can give you additional information as the leadership from Molson Coors uh, arrives. Uh, they will have additional information. We are making family notifications. And uh, again, this is fluid. We'll update you as we move on. Chief, Thank Chief, you very much. Everyone is out of the building right now. All the workers that were in the lockdown mode. Is everyone out? No, they're not. There's over a thousand employees. There's multiple buildings. More than 20 buildings we have to uh, secure. We have uh, checkpoints that we're uh, checking off each employee one by one. That's going to take several hours to do. So I can't tell you uh, who's all accounted for, who's missing, who's not, and that's why. As this continues, we'll get that to you. Do you believe right now that this is a long gunman or no? It's too early to tell. We believe we have it contained. So we believe that subject is down, but uh, I can't give you additional information. It, it may change, but right now we believe this, the target is down. That's all I have for you. We'll give you more you at 9 o'clock. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you. We have somebody that can do a Spanish one as well for you. If you uh, For a Spanish-speaking uh, statement, I have a PIO for you. Yes. When, when you arrived on the scene, 